Hey, superstars, happy November, and congrats to all the Braves fans out there. Today, I'm doing a VR for Aranya Boys. I want to show you some care packages and some contest wins and some pickups, and I've got a channel announcement. So let's do it to it. Scotty wants to see a rainbow, and I don't really do the rainbow thing. I've got a few different Mojo Biebers from earlier this year, but I'm not really actively looking to complete that. But I do have a super rare rainbow from 1958. When they came out with the 1958 design, Topps was trying to make the single most absolute perfect baseball card ever. So they explored every option possible. These were never released to the public, but I was able to buy them through rather nefarious means that I don't want to get into as to not incriminate myself. Um, anyway, here's the red. Here's the red with the yellow letters. The pink was deemed a little too sexy. It was the 50s after all. Orange, lighter orange. Uh, light green, they called this one mossy green. Medium green, that one's pretty sharp. And the dark green was a little too Christmassy. Light blue was a little too baby boy's room. Medium blue, and here's the black, which looks rather evil, like all hail the Dark Lord Mossy. So they eventually settled on the yellow. Here's one with the yellow team name and the white team name. And the most perfect card in the history of baseball cards was born. Scotty also wants to hear about all the people that inspire us. Scotty actually inspires me by being so generous and active in the community. And all of you guys inspire me by keeping me going. That's kind of a cheap answer, but that's not lip service. Uh, I have made a lot of really great friends in this hobby over the past couple of years, and I'm forever grateful because you've been such a positive influence on me. I do try to find some inspiration outside of the hobby videos, though, just to keep things fresh. I like maker videos like The Craftsman, and I like to make stuff, and Jimmy DeResta. Jimmy was the guy that influenced me to make videos in the first place. Um, I look at a lot of art videos, too, like Alpe Effie and James Gurney. And uh, Bobby Duke, that dude makes amazing videos. So there you go, Scotty. I hope that answer works. And I hope you enjoyed my rainbow, sir. Dustin and I had a little bet going when the Browns visited the Vikings earlier this month. I'm not really a betting man, but the stakes were pretty low, so I was okay with it. The Browns ended up winning, so Dustin sent me this really cool 1956 Lou the Toe Groza. Awesome card. Thank you, Dustin. The Browns have been playing rather poorly ever since, but still, this is really neat. Doug at Don't Talk to Robots was having his 100th episode live stream recently. Congratulations again, Doug. And I want a stack of football cards and another awesome sticker. I should really make some of these. Yo, Scott, thanks for stopping by our live stream. Congrats on the win and I hope you enjoy the cards. Keep on rocking, Doug. Uh, a couple of Griffies, nice. Brett Favre, that guy, that guy, that guy. There's my first Baker Mayfield card. Some more dudes. Uh, Philip Dorsett, Jersey Relic. Ooh, little cowboy. Now you're speaking my language. Lindor and nice Aaron Savali autograph and a Joe and Phil Negro. Super cool, Doug. Thank you so much, man. These are awesome. Don had his giveaway where he wanted to see something we'd think he'd like. I entered, but he forgot to put me on his wheel. And then I only mentioned it to give him a hard time because I like giving Don a hard time. I wasn't really concerned with winning anything, but he sent me a gift card anyway because Don is super nice and I'm a super jerk. Uh, next time I'm going to keep my big dumb mouth shut, but thank you, Don. Another package from Dustin and Blake. What the what? Pretty cool Scotty Bales autograph and nice Alvaro time. Dustin is curious as to whether Alvaro is wearing a diaper or if he's happy to see me. Actually, that's a good question. Alvaro is wearing a medieval chastity belt. He stole it from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, Alvaro barely got away from the museum security, and he didn't have time to stash the belt in his locker before the game that day. Hidden inside the chastity belt is one in a series of clues that leads to the secret treasure of the Knights Templar. Alvaro's been searching for that treasure for ages. He was pretty much the inspiration for Nicolas Cage's character in National Treasure. So very cool, Dustin. Thanks, man. Pickups. Um, I've had my eye out for the Al Rosen Sports Illustrated, and I haven't found the right one just yet, but I did find this cool Herb Score issue. This one is really sharp looking, I think. Um, I like this Haynes ad too. And I found a good deal on this Al Rosen Sport magazine. Um, I talked about going to my LCS's sports card show last month. That was a lot of fun. I picked up this MPN Company Lou Boudreau. I thought this was a neat looking card. But the more I learn about how little effort they put into them, the less I like them. They just reuse the same art over and over and plugged in players' names there. Um, 
They have a Larry Doby card where he's depicted as a white pitcher. So yeah, um, I also picked up a 51 Tops Luscious Luke Easter. And I spent too much on eBay again this month. I was chatting with Sean Tiford before our contest. And when I talk to Sean Tiford, he makes me want to buy Al Rosen cards. This one's kind of ugly, but it's numbered with his uniform number seven. And here's a bat relic. Um, I didn't have a 52, so I found this nice one. It's pretty snazzy. And then I was looking through my list of 60s cards that I needed for my team sets, and I noticed I didn't have the Sam McDowell rookie. It's a short print and a little pricey, but I found this slabbed autographed copy for about the same price as a raw card, so no brainer there. Speaking of autographs, here's Elmer Flick, and you're saying who? Elmer was a Hall of Fame outfielder for the Cleveland Naps who played in the early 1900s. And this is my first Naps autograph. And this isn't a new pickup, but this is my T206 Elmer Flick. In 1907, the Tigers offered 21-year-old troublemaker Ty Cobb in a trade for Flick, and the Naps said no. And then Flick was sidelined with health issues for the better part of the next three seasons, and his career was pretty much over. The Naps then replaced Flick with shoeless Joe Jackson, but I can't help but drool over the idea of Napoleon Lajoie and Ty Cobb in the same lineup. That would have been amazing. Here's an old autograph from Cy Slapnica, and again, you're saying, who? Cy also played in the early 1900s, but he was better known as a super scout. He signed guys like Lou Boudreau, Mel Harder, Herb Score, Roger Maris, and Bob Feller. Just a really, really interesting guy and great piece of Indian's history for around $12, I think. Speaking of Feller, this one's been on my list for a couple of years. It may not be perfect, but it's pretty darn nice, and I couldn't pass it up at the price I paid, so I'm very excited to add that one. I have been working my tail off, but I need to prioritize things a little bit. I'm still way, way behind on the commissions. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down on the videos for a little while and try to knock out as many commissions as I can before the year is done. That's really been weighing on me. So I think for my sanity, that's just something I need to do. Um, I will try to pop in a video every now and then, but I can't keep up the pace that I've been making them right now. So uh, if you have been waiting for a commission, thank you so much for your patience. If you're waiting for new videos, thank you so much for your patience. And I personally, I've been waiting for a clone of myself to help out around here, but it is stuck on a shipping freighter off the coast. So you know how that goes. Okay, keep being awesome, everybody, and big hugs and thank yous and shout outs to Aranya Boys, Dustin and Blake, Don't Talk to Robots, and Don's Field of Dreams cards. Go check out those guys. Thanks all of you for watching, and we'll see you real soon.